If you are pursuing righteousness, there's one thing you need to do. Look to the rock. Actually, in Isaiah 51, what it relates to the rock is Abraham and Sarah. The reminder is that Abraham was one person when he was called, but the Lord blessed and multiplied him. Of course, that's what we want as Christians. Multiplication. We want to make disciples and multiply ourselves. The Lord just needs one to make the many. Offer yourself as that one. There will be hardships, but there is comfort in the waste places. God turns the desert places into gardens of the Lord. Any hardship can be turned into a blessing from the Lord, and we can joy and have gladness and thanksgiving and songs of praise. The righteous have God's law in their heart. They may have people come and attack, but they won't last. Righteousness lasts. Cling to that. We're rebuked for being afraid of mere man. He's going to die. The Lord created the heavens and the earth. Fear him. The Lord reminds us he can both stir up the seas to make roaring waves or part it and make a way for safe passage. We don't need to fear the oppressor. Our release is coming. God will turn the torment back on him. In the meantime, God will preserve us alive and meet our needs. We are his people. We have another verse about God's word in our mouths. Isaiah 51, 16. And I have put my words in your mouth and covered you in the shadow of my hand, establishing the heavens and laying the foundations of the earth, saying to Zion, You are my people. He is our God. He will give us what we need, even his own word, which we absolutely need to live. And he provides a covering by his own hand. How could we fear if we were in the covering of his hand?